Hello you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Rad Kutaro and uh, in this whole video we are going to look into Aries uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, December 7th to December 13th uh, 2020 and uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading guys uh, you can check out the description down below and there you are going to find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and also you can um, attend to tarot classes that I am uh, that I'm offering. So with that being said, let's move to the reading straight away. And the first card that marks is, marks Aries is a, a weekly experience here. It is the Eight of uh, Wands. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeding and supporting the topic of Aries. That is going to be, um, <clears throat> or the topic of, uh, of the week, that is going to be the Six of Swords. Moving next is the challenge that you are to overcome throughout the week. That will be the Four of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy Aries for throughout the week. That will be the Six of Wands. Followed by uh, the uh, impression you're going to leave into people around. This card can, uh, attaches, not attaches, but regards to how people are going to see you and what kind of an opinion they are going to have for you. And that will be the Sun card. Followed by the obstacles you will have to meet or you are to meet or you're going to have throughout the week that is going to hold you back or slow down your progress. That is going to be the Hierophant. Uh, moving next, we do have the Three of Pentacles and this is the positive aspect of the week that, go, that is going to help you move forward. And uh, it's quite interesting having those two next to one another in a such um, in a such positions into the spread and the last one which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you Aries that will be uh, the five of cups like that all right so <clears throat> the week ahead that uh, you're going to have based on these two cards, the energies which are feeding uh, the topic itself and, and, and the topic itself, I'm sorry. Uh, it seems that the week is going to be very active and as well very dynamic with, with more than one occasion for, throughout the week. But you're going to feel that uh, it's kind of like that you are not risking but, but putting in all you got. Um, and it's, and it's like you are going to have that wavering waiting for the result to happen. Why that is going to be the problem? It is because throughout the week you're going to, you, you can put your things or yourself into one thing instead of spreading yourself amongst many uh, opportunities which you are going to have. And that will be exactly the problem. Which thing should I jump into? For you have to imagine the week like that. Imagine the you are sitting in a stream, in a river that has a stream and that stream moves towards you and within that, and within that stream, within the river, there is a, um, um, how do you say, a bundle of woods, a bundles of wood, okay, and they represent the opportunities. So you can't catch all of those bundles that are moving among you or it's moving through the stream and passing by you but you can catch just so many and uh, that's why you have to face all the opportunities all the activities throughout the week with a clear clear portion or not clear portion but a big portion i'm sorry of clear-headed mind so you don't kind of like deprive yourself from big results for the results are to be as big as you make them or as a um objective as you throw yourself into uh, into endeavors if i have to advise you for what the cards are saying here it is that you should throw yourself into activities that are less familiar to you are uh, <clears throat> for at least for at very least the very least you get the opportunity to learn something new or to experience something new and according to the energies these new experiences of yours are the only thing that they can do is to improve your own personal circumstances then it is the challenge uh, that you are to overcome and that will be the uh, four of swords 
Uh, that is the challenge of inactivity. It's pretty obvious with this card. It is that you will have to speed up your own life in order to keep up with the demand of opportunities that are passing with the flow uh, around you. It's something like you, you, you can catch four or five opportunities, but instead with your, uh, with your usual performance throughout the week or throughout the previous weeks, you are ready to catch three. So it's kind of like making a double time that we do have here with the Four of Swords. And another thing with the Four of Swords as well, it is that you have to be more explanatory, if that's a word, or elaborative. When you talk with people, colleagues, your partner in life, um, <clears throat> your family as well, because with this card as a challenge, um, you may, you may find it kind of like difficult to express yourself to other people or to express, to explain what you're going through uh, because the patience is going to be in a shortage and unless you do not catch their attention straight away through explaining what you're going through, uh, you're pretty much going to lose the audience. And uh, that's why by, <clears throat> by explaining very, not carefully, but, but elaboratively, what you are going through, that's exactly what is going to catch the eye and not just only the eye, but as well the attention of the, uh, of the audience itself. Other than that, uh, when we move to the next card here, which is the gifts and the blessings that you do get to enjoy throughout the week, uh, things are looking amazing because uh, it's pretty much you're going to be successful in all you do throughout the week with the Six of Wands and not just only that, but as well you're going to get your recognition um, like being petted on the, uh, on the shoulder by, by your boss or by the people that you're working for. Um, somebody that, uh, for example, you are in an intimate relationship with or you want to be in, a, in, in an intimate, in intimate relationship with, uh, they can recognize you as a, uh, an intimate potential, intimate partner, or that they cannot have any intimacy better than yours <clears throat> with them at this given moment. So uh, it, it, it's like you are to be recognized as the person either for the job or either for the relationship. Can you capitalize on it? Well, that is entirely entirely up to you so i could advise you here not to miss the chance and not to miss the moment and it fits very well and and how can i say very symbiotic with the topic itself with all that activity and all these opportunities which may not seem big things okay the eight of wands it's like um it's the little brother of the wheel of fortune and what it's missing there it is that opportunity that changes your life once or kind of like it's a one-time change in life that's what's missing but other than that you can definitely double your life with um, with versatility variety and um, in general make it much much more colorful another thing that uh, could come to you as a gift and blessing that is a help if you do need such and it will be without any conditions uh, and that is not because you are a, a great woman or a great guy but it but because you already helped that person or this organization so it will be something like a a return of a favor what we do have here then we move next to the uh, other card and that is how people are going to look at you how people are going to see you the Sun card points that uh, those that are around you uh, around you are going to be very, very happy in your presence. Uh, they're going to see you uh, as this cheerful person that laughs, straight away laughs in face of danger or in face of, uh, of crisis or in a face of predicament. The person who always um, lifts up others' spirits in a positive way, the person who avoids uh, wrangles, the person who avoids uh, arguments, conflicts, scandals, and etc., etc., the person who always seeks some kind of a point or a way to uh, to grow, and through conflicts and and through through wrangles, you know, and and through arguments, you do not grow. You just you know sit into you are sitting into the same into the same spot or arguing about something. 
Uh, the other thing here is that people are going to see you very vital, uh, vital in the sense of uh, vitalized, very active, uh, and in general, a person to be uh, given as an, an example uh, to, to others. And the last thing uh, it is that people are going to see you that you are in your own waters. That is something we do have in our country as a parable. You know, swimming in your own waters means that pretty much you do know what you are, what you're doing and what you are dealing with and that you are on the right track with your things in general. But again, that is how people see you. It doesn't mean that that is the real situation. Uh, the next one, uh, it's the... Uh, the Hierophant, and that is the obstacles that are going to slow you and hold you back. And I said it's very peculiar that this card comes up, especially with the Three of Pentacles into the next position, which we're going to look into in a minute. Um, and this card is difficult to be interpreted. Literally, we have to connect it with like three other cards from the reading that we already went through. But long story short, with the, with the Hierophant here, not the Hermit, but the Hierophant, I do apologize. It kind of relates to the Six of Swords with the words that I told you that you have to go for the things you did not explore thus far. For you are going to learn new things, you're going to have new experiences, and they are to um, improve your personal circumstances. Because with the Hierophant here, it seems that the tendency itself is going to be the detriment. The tendency that you are to have to stick with what you know, to stick with what you already did, doing it the same thing over and over again, falling into a pattern. That is what can hold back your progress and your growth in general. Uh, and uh, in order to break on this pattern here, as the Hierophant is very, very strong card, you need to kind of like forcefully place your trust into, uh, into enterprises and endeavors that are very unfamiliar to you. Uh, it's like almost enforcing yourself to, uh, to imagine the positive outlook so you can make up your mind to, to tackle with it whatever it is. So yeah, the trust issue and especially self-trust issue is going to be exactly the thing that may hold you back. It will be the obstacle that you will need to pretty much do something about and address. Another thing with the Hierophant, it, uh, it relates to the Four of Swords I said, and that is the way you express yourself. Because with the Hierophant, you are to have the tendency throughout the week that what you are going through is obvious. It's pretty much within the framework of life and everybody went through it, you know, and they should be pretty familiar. So you, you pretty much will have into your impression that when you do explain your uh, family situation, for example, with just one sentence, everybody gets the full picture. That's not the case. So that's why you have to do extra work here to be extra elaborative if you want people to get into your shoes, which they will, because that is the next one. Uh, the uh, positive things which um, are helping you to, to progress and to grow throughout the week, and that is the Three of Pentacles. So the positive things are first and foremost a fruitful conversations, which means that you that while you will have to elaborate while you will have to explain yourself in an extra fashion you will not have to seek the opportunity to do so that opportunity is going to be given to you by the universe and you will just have to seize it open your mouth you know and just start start expressing yourself through that expression uh, you may receive certain criticism but this time around you are not going to face that criticism with repulsiveness and as well with, with disgust if we may say it that way but instead it, you are going to see reason into that criticism because the criticism itself is going to be very reasonable and you are going to draw from it very important points that you can address and work on and when you do so these people that criticize you they are going to be more than willing to help so the things which are going to push you forward the things that can help you throughout the week to um, improve and to grow into your career or into your relationship are uh, the people uh, which are going to or rather the benevolent probably or unconditional 
but I will say it that way, the support you're going to get through your development or toward your development and the fruitful conversations, cooperations as well, that you're going to have with people who understand you. We already said a few times how that is going to happen. And the last one uh, of um, the reading, the last card of the reading for you, Aries, this is going to be the Five of Cups which represents the guidance that the Tower is offering to you. So with the Five of Cups, uh, it kind of like have a, uh, gives a note, it gives a, a note of a repetition, meaning that things, most of the stuff, most of the things may not happen through uh, from the first way you try. I know just only that, but they may not happen the way you kind of like, have, have it, you, the way you are having it in store in your mind. Doesn't mean that they won't happen at all. So uh, the guidance here is that you shouldn't give up, and instead of looking at it as a disappointment or on a disappointment like something as a game changer or as a game breaker, rather, you should look at it as a uh, as a temporary setback because they are exactly that: a temporary disappointments and just a partial losses if you are having losses. But the guidance here is that you shouldn't deviate from the path that you have chosen at the start of the week, and that is one or many of the opportunities which the stream of your life or of your river is giving you. So that being said, Aries, this was your a, a weekly general tarot reading for uh, December 7th to December 13th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.